Hey, what's up you guys? So before you ask, yes, I am sitting on the floor because we're about to have a little, little powwow, little uh, magical meeting. Ooh, magical meeting. I like that. Anyway, I'm sure most of you have already heard of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Now this is a huge thing that's been going on. I'm sure you've seen millions of videos from celebrities and your Facebook friends and Twitter followers and such. And it's in a very exciting event because they've raised well over, I think, 13 or so million dollars. It's probably more than that. I don't know. <laughs> but it's exciting because Yes, it's a fad and a trend that everyone's been getting into, but they're actually raising money for it, which is absolutely amazing. And um, while I am proud of what that organization is doing, uh, I wanted to focus this more on uh, an organization that I'm really proud of. And as you can tell from the video, I kind of did a little ice bucket-isk-ish challenge, um, but I want to focus more on another organization I want to talk about, which is the Give Kids the World organization. Now, may, you may or may not have heard of this organization, but uh, as for me and as my channel goes with Disney and theme parks, I think this organization hits more closer to home than me. Um, what the Give Kids the World organization is, is part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, where if a child has cancer or uh, a life-threatening illness, they get to make a wish, and normally, most of the time, that wish is to go to Disney. And uh, what that, what this foundation is, is it's a place in Kissimmee called the Give Kids the World Village, where if they do make that wish to go to Disney, um, the family will be sent to make a, uh, to Give Kids the World. They'll have a place to stay, they'll have uh, free meals, they'll have free entertainment, and they'll get the free Disney tickets. Usually the vacation lasts about a week or so. And uh, since, uh, since I have lived in Orlando, I have given countless amount of times to the organization and uh, have donated as well. Uh, and I think it hits closer to home to me because I've actually interacted with all these kids before and <laughs> I'm just thankful to have that opportunity not only at Give Kids the World, but since I was friends with some uh, people at the parks, I was able to have those interactions that were really special, and I'm glad I was able to give back so much that they gave to me. So that's why I wanted to make this video, is to spread light on not only um, ALS and other charities, but charities that are closer to me and um, so I have donated to the Give Kids the World uh, Village and um, I'll put a link down below of their website so you can read more about that if you like but uh, like I said uh, sometimes people don't have money I know uh, a lot of your kids and you want to donate and you maybe not have money but uh, like I said before, I volunteered at Give Kids the World. Um, I feel that sometimes foundations like volunteers even more than they need money. Time is money, and if you can give time, that's just as good. So I want to challenge all you guys out there to perhaps volunteer at a, a local charity or a local organization. Because while this whole ice bucket challenge trend uh, is great for ALS, I think it could be great for any charity out there. So that's what I wanted to spread. But yes, I did make a little ice bucket challenge-ish video. Um, I kind of Disney-fied it and I didn't use ice, I'm sorry. Uh, but here you go. I guess I have to do it. Good stuff. Cheers, here we go. Whoa. 